So in this video, I'm going to be installing Pop! OS in a virtual machine. So this version of Pop! OS is 22.04 and Pop! OS is based on Ubuntu. So this is the website. I'm going to click on download. So these are the options here. If you have an Nvidia card, you can choose this one. There's also for Raspberry Pi 4. I'm just going to download the first option. So this is the installer menu. I'm going to leave the language as English. So I'm going to leave it as default United States. I'll click select. This is the keyboard layout. I'm going to leave it as English. So yeah, I have two options. I can do a clean install or I can do a custom install. So with the custom install, I can create, resize or manage petitions. I'm going to choose clean install. So I'm going to select the drive here. I'll click on Erase and Install. I have to create a user account. I'll click Next. I'll type a password. So here it gives you an option. Would you like to encrypt the drive? I'm going to say Don't Encrypt. So it's installing. So installation is complete. I'm going to click on Restart Device. I'm going to log in. So I'm going to enable full screen. I'm going to go to view and select full screen mode. So full screen is not enabled. So to enable full screen mode, I have to go to devices and I'm going to select insert guest additions. So it created a CD disk icon. I'm going to open this. And I'm going to run this script. Go to run.sh. I'll just right click and select open as a program. So this is the virtual guest additions installation and this will enable full screen mode. I'll go to view, select full screen mode. So this is the welcome page and here you can choose the dark options here. This is no dark. This is the dark extent to edges and this is dark, doesn't extend to edges. Here you can configure the top bar, show workspaces button. So this is workspaces button and this is the applications button. I'll turn off the show workspaces button, turn it back on. Show applications button, I'll turn that off, turn it back on. This is the date and time and notifications position. Right now it's in the center here. I'll select left. I can also select right. I'm going to leave it at the center. This is the open and switch applications from launcher. I'll click next. So this is the use gestures for easier navigation. That's if you're using a laptop or a touch mouse. I'll click next. This is the appearance theme. Right now it's on dark mode. I'll select my light mode. That's too bright. So I'm going to select dark mode. So this is privacy and you can enable location services. I'm going to leave it off. This is the time zone and here you can type your city. Here you can connect to your online accounts. So you can connect to Google. This is next cloud. I'll click on skip. And I'll click on start using Pop! OS. So this is the dock at the bottom. This is the launcher. This is the show workspaces. So right now there are two workspaces. This is show applications. This is the calculator. This is the calendar. This is the contacts app. 
So Firefox is the default browser. This is Geary. And this is an email client. So you can choose any one of these. So this is the pop shop. So you can search for apps and you can download these apps and they are listed by categories here. I'll select internet. So I'm going to install Google Chrome. So I'll type Chrome. So that's installing. I'll select privacy and security. And these are some of the apps. So there's Repo Man. I'm going to open that app. So there's Settings. There's Updates. And you can turn these on or off. Extra Sources. This is Flatback. So I can add a new source just by clicking on the plus icon. And I can also install the local Flatback file. So this is the text editor. This is G-Edit. So this is the weather app. This is the office folder and LibreOffice is installed. I'll open the system folder. So these are some of the apps in the system folder. This is network configuration. This is a disk cap. This is the password and keys app. I'll open the Startup Applications app. So I can edit any one of these. I can also add startup programs here. I'll open the System Monitor app. So this is the utilities folder. These are some of the apps. This is archive manager. So I'll open the document viewer app. This is the image viewer. I'll click on show workspaces. So there are only two workspaces. So I'll open the settings app. This is network. I can configure a VPN here. This 
This is network proxy. This is desktop. So this is super key actions and you can configure the super key actions for launcher, for workspaces and applications. This is to enable the top left hot corner for workspaces. This is the top bar settings, show workspaces button, show applications button. This is the windows control, show minimize button. This can be turned off or on. Show Maximize button. This is background and these are some of the background wallpapers. I'll choose this wallpaper. This is appearance and this is the dock settings, enable dock. These are the options. This is dock visibility. So you can change the size of the dock here. And you can change the position of the dock on the desktop. So right now it's in the bottom. It's on the left. And it's on the right. I'm going to leave it at the bottom. So this is the dock and icon alignment on the screen. Right now it's center. I'll select start. I'll select end. So I'll click on workspaces. And these are the workspaces settings. So I can specify a number of workspaces. I'll leave it at 6. And you can also set the placement of the workspaces picker. Right now it's on the left side. I'll place it on the right side. This is notification settings. This is applications. This is privacy. So this is file history and trash settings. This is screen lock settings. This is the online accounts, this is sharing. This is the song settings. This is the power settings. This is the display settings. This is the mouse and touchpad settings. I click on keyboard. This is printers. Removable media. This is color settings, firmware, regional and language. Accessibility. Users, default applications. Date and time. This is the operating system upgrade and recovery. And this can be set to automatic updates. So the known version is 42.9, it's X11. So I'm going to open the terminal app and I'm going to run an upgrade. I'll type sudo app upgrade. So the upgrade was completed, so I'm going to do an update. I'll type sudo app update. So 
So I'm going to see if VLC player is installed. So VLC player is not installed. I'll see if HTOP is installed. HTOP is not installed. So I'm going to install both VLC and HTOP. I'll type sudo app install VLC and HTOP. So it's complete. I'm going to type HTOP. I'll open the launcher. I'm going to type VLC. So on the top panel, there's the power button. There's a speaker icon. There's a network icon. This is the tile window settings. I'm going to turn it on. So I'm going to open a few apps. I'm going to open Firefox, the settings app. I'll open the terminal app and the pop shop app. So I'm just going to move these around. So on the keyboard, I'm going to hold down the Windows key or the Super key, and I'm going to drag these around with the mouse. So I can also take a screenshot of any one of these windows. I just have to right click and take screenshot. So I'll open the workspaces. So I have four windows open and I can just drag these into different workspaces. So the kernel version is 6.9.3, the shell is bash, 5.1.16, the desktop environment is GNOME 42.9. So this is just a quick look of the new version of Pop! OS. So I want to thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing.